Welcome back to Think Tech. I'm Jay Fidel. This is Community Matters here on Think Tech. And the question is, can we reach immortality? What is the way we can do that? And uh, to help us through that journey, uh, we have Corey Martin Jewell, uh, and he is going to help us. Welcome to the show, Corey. Hi, thanks for having me, Jay. It's very excited to be here, and we have some really exciting news. I understand you're 102 years old. Is that true? Well, last time I checked, yeah. Um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm today I was born 45 years ago, but my actual biological age is now 36, and it's going to be getting lower. So, but we'll get to 102. We'll get there. Okay, just checking <laughs> up. You know, I, I yeah. want to know how to reach immortality. I mean, we have tried to reach immortality since uh, Ponce de Leon in St. Augustine and the Fountain of Youth in the year 1513. So far, I haven't stumbled across anybody who says they can do it. And mm -hmm. uh, actually, you know, sadly, Ponce de Leon is no longer with us. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. so uh, give me a handle on, you know, the general idea about reaching immortality. And you could help me by defining immortality, because immortality, you can quote me on this, Corey, is mm -hmm. not forever. Oh, uh, well, the, we use the name Immortalité, uh, the French spelling for our company here. We're a Hawaii-based company. And the meaning behind it is, the intention behind it is to extend people's lifespan, to give them more quality years. I know uh, you were mentioning the Fountain of Youth, and water is also really important in the Hawaiian culture. I mean, the, the middle Hawaii, Hawaii is water. And, and I've also traveled to Egypt, and I studied... Um, how they used healing water in ancient Egypt. So it's a very, very ancient concept. And even if you go back to the Bible, there's, uh, you know, Methuselah and Enoch were supposed to live 700 or 900 years. So we're not quite sure. We, I, I would say like that's, you know, absolutely out of this world, but we're getting to the point again in history where we're not quite sure how long we can live. No, but you know, there's a problem about reaching immortality. And I do want to ask you about the French Connection. It's not like a drug show. Uh, the, the, uh, French, the French Connection. Um, you know, so if I make everybody immortal or yeah. I enable them to lead a very long life, yeah. they're still going to want to have children. Les enfants, if you don't mind. Right. And if they keep having children, and they do, you know, um, I mean, there are those people in, in this country would like to everybody to have as many children as they want, mm. as they can. Mm. Um, what happens? Don't you get a kind of a bunch up there? You have all these children uh, being born into the society, um, um, but, but, but everybody's living longer, and now you have um, kind of too many people or more, significantly more people alive on the planet. How do you deal with that as a matter of public policy? Well, um, the world is moving towards a more sustainable planet, and we are really interested in making our bodies more sustainable. And if you really look at the resource allocation, uh, we could have, you know, there's been UN studies that show that we could have up to 14 billion people living sustainably on this planet, which is more than double of what we currently have. So... As far as there being more people, um, I don't know if that's really a problem yet. But as we live longer, we may not be inclined to need to have as many children because people that were having many children in the past were to help on the farms and to help them with their labor. And they knew like maybe one or two children weren't going to make it. So they had a couple extra and they were, you know, all working together to perpetuate the family, which is very important. But if we can sustain our lives and our bodies in this new way, we can live dramatically longer and we won't have those concerns about we need to have eight children, you know? We will be able to populate the earth with, you know, as many people as we need, but we're not reaching that point yet. And the beauty of this is that people will be living longer, so you won't need, uh, you'll be longer quality years, so you won't need, you know, as much support as you get older to be taken care of. You will be out and thriving and you'll still be active and you'll be doing everything that you want to be doing. Including sex. Including that, if, that, I'm, if I'm immortal, uh, just in the French way, I'd like to have as much sex as possible. And I'd like well, to have that at 70, 80, 90, and 100. 
And well, so you know, even yeah. for, as a matter of public policy, it may not be a great idea to increase the population to 14 billion. Um, mm. It may get very increased, not only by the fact that nobody's dying, but mm. by the fact that everybody's procreating like crazy in their later years. Why not? It's fun. Well, you may need to restrain yourself, Jay. But um, I think that as we as we no longer have these um, needs to um, to procreate for the perpetuation of the species, because we are living dramatically longer, we might just do it for enjoyment or for you know social you know just yeah for all the other reasons to share love. You're talking about birth control, aren't you? Well, no, I'm not going that far. But you know, there's other ways to you know. Uh, do things. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> that's not what. That's not why we're here, actually. <laughs> yeah, no, we're yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's let's talk about how you do it, because I oh. think there are all the people are out there waiting to hear what Ponce de Leon could not deliver. Um, yes, and I, yes. And I I, I, I saw two terms uh, in your write up. Uh, one was a regenerative longevity, and the other was. Oh. Uh, regenerative um, uh, beauty products. So mm -hmm. what does regenerative mean, Corey? And mm -hmm. uh, what's the common denominator between longevity uh, in, in terms of immortality and regenerative in terms of beauty? Well, um, like I said at the beginning, we're a Hawaii-based company, and we've just set a world record for the shortest epigenetic with the fastest epigenetic age reduction. So that's something to be very, very proud of, unique to Hawaii. And one of the reasons could that you, we could were Could you define to... epigenetic? I, sure, I know yeah. and love that term, but I'd like yeah. everybody to know and love that term. So we have a chronological age, and then we have a biological age. And, you know, forever we've, we've seen them as equal, but you know that you can now, measuring your DNA, you can lower your biological age so that you might be 45, but your body is operating like it's 36, and we can continue to lower that. And that is through the process of regeneration, which you were just talking about. What we do differently here in Hawaii, which is something to be very proud of, is we have all of these different influences. We have Chinese medicine. We have regenerative farmers. All of these insights that we came to uniquely here in Hawaii were because of this diversity of all this knowledge that doctors may not be aware of. And so it's taken them down a certain path, but we have insights that we've come to during the pandemic, it actually happened. Um, I dislocated my shoulder and we, at my elbow and we can get into that. But the regeneration process, what that means is, is that as your cells replicate, we are gonna replicate perfect cells. In the past, as you age, your cells slowly degrade over time. So each duplication gets a little bit worse, a little bit worse. Well, I a feel bit it. Worse. I feel it every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a, it's it's no longer going to be a reality if we can continue to replicate perfectly. And we have lots of technologies and techniques that we use here to replicate these cells perfectly. L let's talk about it. Let's let's say, you know, first of all, you you got to answer my question. What is the common denominator between mm. regenerative longevity and regenerative beauty? Is oh, it right, the same right. same kind of technology? Is it the same yes. kind of substance and, and biological process? It's a very similar concept. We're using the same concepts. The difference is the longevity is designed to extend your lifespan. So we're working from the inside out. We're regenerating your organs. We're regenerating your kidneys, your liver. The regenerative beauty is working from the outside in because, to be honest, a lot of people don't want to wait long enough to look better. So they want it on the face first so that it regenerates the face and then they'll worry about the rest of the body later. We're not here to judge. We're here to give people what they want. So, so how do you do that biochemically? Um, we're working with the body. So we are giving the body both the nutrition it needs, but also this major component, which is overlooked, is the bioelectrical component of the body. If you study anything in Chinese medicine, you'll know that there's qi or in the Hawaiian culture, it's mana or in an Indian culture, it's called prana. But this has been disregarded in Western medicine, and they focus on the chemical aspects, and they focus on more mechanical aspects. But in Chinese medicine, if you've ever had acupuncture, if they hit a certain spot, it feels like lightning will shoot through your arm. 
and that is the electrical component. So what our products and our technologies do that's different is we incorporate this electrical component, and that allows the body to receive an abundance of what's life force or mana. And that is what is the real power behind what we're doing that is empowering all of the things that everybody else has already tried. It's kicking this into high gear. Can you divide for me the thing with the acupuncture and the electrical and the yes. thing with the thing with um, a substance? And uh, I guess uh, I can go by the, 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 the substance at TMC in Alamona Center. I can, I can uh, buy a little bottle of it. What does it look like? Is it granular? Is it liquid? Does it look like sand or powder? Uh, is it granular? Is it? Um, it is. Uh, it is liquid. Um, mm -hmm. We have them in our tinctures, and our tinctures are made up of sixteen different herbs, Chinese herbs that empower your kidneys. But like I was just saying, the most important factor is the life force, and so we've empowered these herbs in a way that they are bioactive and that they go straight into your cells and they empower your body. So there's the electrical electrical component as well into these products. They are liquid. You can take five drops a day. Sometimes that's even too much for people. So we have them bring it down to two or three. Your body regenerates when it sleeps. So when we say it's too much, it may make people tired. Most people are out vacuuming and they're just doing, you know, they're doing housework that they haven't done in years. They feel so great. But if we want to take it up a level, we also have a transformative longevity program. And that is now online where people throughout the world can watch online and participate and they can learn all the science behind this. And they can also do a week long class where they actually go through a program to regenerate their body and begin that process. That's is that, is that, is that physical? Is that, you know, brick and mortar or, or is that online where I can do it from anywhere in the world? It's all online at the moment. So anywhere in the world. In the future, in the next few months, now that we've broken this world record, we are hoping to open a physical clinic here on the island so people can come and do a, and do a treatment for a week. Okay, so um, gee, that's that sounds really interesting. Um, what so what is the what is the, from a medicinal point of view, what is happening in the cell to rejuvenate it that way, um, to give it this kind of regenerative and electric uh, quality? Um, I, you know, it sounds it sounds really interesting. Uh, can can you describe to me at the cellular level, the human cellular level, what is happening? There's a couple of things that are happening. Well, there's more than a couple of things. There's more things than we can possibly list. There's things we don't even know that are happening, but we're seeing it happen. But in general, there are, you know, you've got your DNA and it's encapsulated inside of a chromosome. And on the ends of these chromosomes, there's the tips of the chromosomes. And if you think of those like shoelaces, over time, as we age, they get shorter and shorter and shorter. Right, and, and you can measure expectancy. You can yes. look at the chromosome yes. for anyone and measure life expectancy. This is really fabulous. Yes. Yes, so this exactly. is kind of yes. like reverse engineering. Yes. So if I, if I make the chromosome longer, I mean, if it gets shorter, my life is, you know, my expectancy is less. But you're yes, talking about you're... making it longer, mm -hmm. forcing it to be longer, and then my life expectancy is, is that what we're talking about? Yes, yeah, so we're not actually getting it longer, longer. We are restoring it to its original length so that your cells will then perfectly reproduce without breaking. You know, we don't want, as things get shorter, they start to mutate, they start to change. And then- uh, I, I feel that, I feel yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. so <laughs> what we're doing is we're, that's one of the elements and that's based on Nobel Prize winning research from 2009. And we've incorporated her knowledge into these, into, into these products. So that's you say her, who is her? Who is the Nobel Prize winner? Um, her name is uh, Natalie Blackburn, I believe is her name. Um, hmm. She, or was Elizabeth Blackburn, one of the two. I'm, I apologize for that. Um, but she came to this conclusion, won the Nobel Prize, and we've just incorporated it. And another thing we've done is we're empowering the kidneys. The kidneys are responsible for generating stem cells. The, the stem cells are created in your bone marrow. The kidneys signal your bone marrow to release stem cells. So some people are traveling to distant places to get injected with stem cells. We're not doing anything like that. We are using the body's own stem cells to regenerate itself. And stem cells are wonderful cells that you have a lot of when you're, when you're a baby. 
and they can turn into any different type of cell, whether it's a heart cell, muscle cell, brain, you name it. So if we're releasing tons of those in your system, if we're signaling your body to release them, they're going everywhere in your body that they're needed to help regenerate you. So what's the kidney got to do with that? You were talking about the kidney a minute ago. The kidneys are kind of the, in Chinese medicine, they are considered like your core, the core of your being. They're, they're the kidney that's responsible for like blood pressure and, and, and all of the organs actually work together. But the kidneys are the ones that we signal with these herbs to activate the stem cells. Yeah. I see. Okay. Suppose I was to walk into Queens Hospital mm. and, and go to the reception area and say, uh, I, I'd like to get regenerated. Um, I yeah. like some of that that liquid stuff. Um, and uh, can you, you know, put me in touch with a doctor here at Queens Hospital with all your specialties? What? And how about a nephrologist? Because that's about kidneys. Um, what would they say to me uh, about uh, my my request? Would they be able to help me? Um, not the way we do it. Um, I'm not quite sure uh, what they would what they would propose, but I can tell you, I, I went to Queens Hospital um, just at the beginning of the pandemic. I dislocated my elbow. Um, I, I think you may have a picture of that. And um, now let's show a, show a picture of Corey's elbow. There it is. Yeah. It kind of looks very mechanical, Corey. Yeah, uh, it totally dislocated, and and you can see there where it's supposed to be together. Um, and in this process, I tore every single ligament and tendon in my elbow. So in the ER at Queens, they were able to pull it back together. And there may be a photo of it back together. And once this happened, at that point, I was presented with the option of, of getting surgery. So that, that may be what, would, what they would uh, you know, also say for your kidneys. I'm not quite sure. But with my elbow, that was the option. So... I was working with these regenerative farmers here in Hawaii, and I said, I've seen what you're doing with the plants. You guys got these plants, and the next day they're just standing straight up, and they look, they're just beaming. Can we do that to my elbow? Can I regenerate my elbow? Let's see what happens. And so they said, let's try it. And so we did. And for 13 weeks, I regrew every single torn ligament and tendon in my elbow. And we have a diagram of the elbow. You can see how many ligaments and tendons are in there. It's very, very intricate. Now, the only way this is possible is, is the body is infinitely intelligent. The body knows what it's doing. What my job and the farmer's job to do was to get all the nutrition, the collagen. Those ligaments are made up of collagen. So we, we got the collagen in there. We carried it through the bloodstream using water. And that allowed the body over 13 weeks to completely regrow 100% my elbow. And that well, is something it, that is Now, this little, this little jar of liquid you're talking about. Mm -hmm. where I take four or five drops a day, does mm -hmm. that have collagen or, or is this a special mixture, a, a special uh, conglomeration of things um, that help you on the elbow? We do sell collagen on the website and we tailored this. This was before the company existed and we were figuring out exactly what this particular part of my body needed. If, if we were like treating a heart or we were treating a kidney, we would infuse it with different things. The kidney would be like parsley and black garlic. Those are the things that are in this tincture. They're targeting your kidneys. So it's different tinctures for different problems. Yes. So, so we, we have to speak to somebody. We can't just make that decision. We have to make the decision of, uh, hey, something wrong with my elbow or my whatever. Uh, well, but, in but, the class, in the yeah. class, we teach people how to go through this and, and we show them what the process. Now, your stem cells will, and we sell the collagen as well, the stem cells will um, take care of things. Your, you know, your body is intelligent. It will know. And so like, I have no clicking and popping in my elbow. It's back 100%. And when I got the MRI test results, it demonstrated that it's back 100%. I think you have an image of that as well. Um, well let's see that. I want to see the MRI test results on Corey. Oh, that's the report. Yeah, that's the report. Okay. Um, ligament is normal. Um, Radial ligament is normal. Lateral ligament is normal. So this would yeah. this would indicate a, a what a complete um, complete, complete regrowing regrowing of your elbow. Wow. And that is not that is not currently possible. By and that took practice. what you say fourteen weeks. Yes, thirteen weeks to regrow it, and then it took you know some working out to get it back to one hundred percent. But yes, lifting some you know, weights. It's funny that you know a friend of mine uh, broke broke her ankle recently, and they said and they casted it and everything. And, the, and they said what they always say, this this is going to take six weeks to heal. Mm. Um, 
Um, and we know that, you know, you break a leg, break a bone, break anything, six weeks. They always say six weeks. It's like they yeah. must learn that in day one of medical school, six weeks. Mm. Um, six weeks is a lot less than 14 weeks, Corey. It is, but this is 100%, and it's never, ever going to re-injure again, ever. And so... Is it stronger also, than it was to begin? Well, that's up to me how much, how much, how much weight I want to lift. But yes, it is, it is equal to my right. Yeah, and it is perfect. So no suppose, clicking, no I, yeah. suppose I take a lot of the tincture. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, we say four or five drops and maybe some collagen too and whatever, black pepper, whatever it is. Um, I, I favor vanilla ice cream, but I don't think that's on yeah. the menu. Yeah. So, <laughs> so let's say instead of taking the recommended dose, if dose is the right word, Mm -hmm. I double or triple or quadruple that dose. Yes. Am I going to have side effects here? Am I going to see spots in front of my eyes? Um, am I going to be? Uh, am I going to be one of those characters in in the Marvel movies that can lift a car? What's it going to be like yeah. for me? <laughs> well, that's the exact approach we took to win this world record. Um, I was doing about a bottle a day, and. Mm -hmm. I had a medical team here with me, you know, watching over me and the, well, there was an acupuncturist as well as someone doing my vitals. What happens is, is that the bioelectrical energy I was talking about accelerates in your body. You start basically, you know, it starts moving very, very quickly. And if all the things we teach in the class teach you how to manage that, you know, what that can mean is it could feel like an emotional roller coaster where you're very angry one day, the next day you're calm because all of these things are leaving your body. It's a, a electrical detox, I guess you could call it. Um, so there aren't any side effects. I mean, all these things are natural and they're organic. And unless you're breastfeeding, um, these products are 100% safe. So it's not anything that people should be concerned about. Um, but you want to not overdo it. We're talking about balance. It's, your body will regenerate faster when it's in balance. The faster you go, unless you have all the support systems in place, which is what we will do when we open this clinic, people should stick to five drops a day because slow and steady wins this race with longevity. Hmm. Okay. So um, um, what, what, what about um, you said that you had a life that your real age your real age was mm. not in the 40s. It was in the 30s, I think you said. Yes, um, yes. How do you know that? Did you did you measure your uh, your chromosomes? Uh, yes. Did you find that they were shorter than, or rather longer than shorter? Um, they, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, they found that they, um, the process is called DNA methylation. It's the gold standard test for what we have today. And it was done in San Diego at a place called Trumi Labs, who are our partner. And they measured my DNA for on July 15th, which was my starting point, which I was 45. And I have a graphic here now that shows uh, I am now 8.4 epigenetic years younger. Now this is our second test on our world record attempt. We have one more test still coming, so I may be in my low 30s now. In the past, there is a billionaire, well, last year, not in the past, there was a billionaire named Brian Johnson, and he spent... I, I warn you, I'm already, always suspicious of billionaires. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> it, it, I became aware of that when I saw what Elon Musk was doing. Um, oh. Billionaires don't necessarily impress me. Maybe other people mm -hmm. are impressed with Billy. Go ahead. He was the previous record holder, and he spent $2 million a year testing different things on his body, and he said... And what, what they concluded was that he got to 5.1 biological years younger in seven months. What we've done here in Hawaii, which is something to be really proud of, is we've done 8.4 years in only eight weeks, which is almost double. And we'll find out the final number here in about two weeks, which is probably going to be double what he did in less than half the time, which is extraordinary. And so that is, yeah, that is amazing. That's well, the world yeah. record. You know, I asked a little while ago about what happens if you double, triple, quadruple the, you know, the dose, uh, mm. the number of drops from the, the bottle and the tincture. And I'm thinking of a movie. I can't remember the name of the movie. It was about somebody who got younger all the time. Uh, yeah. That's a very oh, interesting Benjamin movie. Buttons. Benjamin that's Buttons. That's it. That's yeah, it. Yeah. Benjamin Button. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you want to have a reference to that on your website, Benjamin Button. Yeah. So suppose I kept doing this, you know, and it was yes. not, not necessarily with advice. I, I just felt I wanted to get the maximum effect yes. of all of yes. this. 
And I found that my, my age uh, was no longer in the 30s. It was in the 20s. Well, mm -hmm. Benjamin Button. It was in the yes. teens. And then I hadn't been born yet. I was, yeah. you know, is, 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 it, is this yes. possible? Can we have the yes. Benjamin Button effect? Yes, yes. But hopefully we don't have to be born all <laughs> old first, you know? We, we have a, another graphic for a 72-year-old. And you were asking about the drops. She mm -hmm. was on five drops a day. And as you can see, we didn't do a before test with her. We put her through some programs before we discovered this DNA process. But the first time we tested her, you can see she's 10.6, I think 10, 10, 10 years younger at least. Now on the drops, she's been able to sustain her age. So the, the, the chart there shows that it's, it's level. She's not aging. As time goes on, this person is not aging. And that is remarkable. That's on the drops. So if you want to do more than five drops, that's why we're going to have, you know, if you want to do 40 drops, you can take our program. It's online. If you want to go further than that, we can do supervised sessions in this clinic, which we will hopefully open. Oh, supervised? Is this a medical doctor that supervises? What kind of uh, yes. professional expert is involved in making these choices and recommendations? Yes. Well, we will have a medical team as well, the people that help me. And like we will doctors. Also have like yes. doctors, MD doctors. Yes. Well, it's hard to find people that are regenerative doctors, but yes. Yeah. Mm, okay. And um, also uh, the traditional Chinese medicine doctor that helped me. You know, I was doing acupuncture quite a bit, almost almost every day to keep this energy moving. And um, all, yeah, all those things will be in the clinic. But that's what happens when you drink too much. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> Anything to that's too much is too much. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I... Um, uh, it, do you give this stuff away? Do you sell it? Does somebody else sell it? Can I buy it at uh, TMC? Uh, is there a variety of products I can look to on online or mm -hmm. um, on a web, or Amazon? You know, uh, where where yes. can I get it? And how much will it cost me? And after all, I'd like to add that if I'm losing ten years in my you know if I'm gaining ten years of my life expectancy, that's really worth something. This is Absolutely. not a small thing, you know. I mean, I could. You know, I can really use this, and I and if it works, if it's a, I don't know if it's a guarantee, maybe it's not, but uh, if it works and it it increases my life expectancy by say ten years or twenty or thirty, um, I could go on. Um, then uh, it, that's worth a bundle of money. How much does it cost for the five drops and the little but little little tincture? We have a uh, three drops on our website, uh, immortality.com. It's a three pink three tincture pack. And that sells for one ninety five. That lasts for three months. That's a three month supply. That's cheap. A dollar ninety five. Yes, yes. And you take five drops a day. No, a hundred and ninety five. Oh, dollars. sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But yes, it is still relatively cheap for what you're getting, which could be. You know, we know there's people living around the world in these blue zones already thirty years longer than in the West. So we know we can live to well one hundred. And we know here at the center, things that will take us past one hundred. So all these things are. Are happening so we don't we're looking at 120 140 now um which is amazing and there's sharks the greenland shark lives to 500 we know why that is so if we can regenerate perpetually we don't know how long we can live but the science behind it is in also our class the transformative longevity program that is also on our website it sells for 7.95 but because we're celebrating this world record we have a checkout coupon code world record all together uppercase and you can redeem that coupon at checkout. That'll give you one hundred dollars off. I mean, let me write that down. Yeah. So you know, now uh, to go to the uh, the question of the plants for a moment. Mm -hmm. um, you talked about uh, a farmer who wants to yes. grow his plants straight up and down like your elbow. Um, yep. How does that work for him? Does he drop the tincture on the plant? Yes, he has a different. They have a different formula. Um, for years, I was working with the Center for Living with Nature, and they have regenerative farmers, and they have figured out how to take these plants and just, they literally stand straight up and they're beaming just by adding certain things. It's not like traditional fertilizer, it's regenerative fertilizer. And they tried for years to get funding, but they always lost out to bigger chemical companies every time they applied for a grant. So the beauty of this is that we're helping regenerative farmers we're all working together to regenerate the body, but they had the knowledge and they discovered this. We applied it to the human body 
and it's it's amazing it's amazing it's it's using our bodies as they were intended to be used what about the reverse of that i mean if you if you say to the farmer here here's a bottle of tincture or whatever uh, why don't you fertilize uh, the your plants your crops um whatever crop it may be say taro uh, yeah. and make it grow taller and stronger and live longer and what have you mm. um um, does does that the same process? Is that the way it works? And wouldn't that have a huge effect on farming? Because it absolutely, uh, they, it absolutely all these would. Chemicals they try to make, you know, like uh, a, a GMOs and the like, and they try to make the plants stronger and longer and what have you. You're saying this would be a substitute for that? Absolutely, absolutely. And yeah, that is um, something that they've been trying for years, application after application. I've watched them do it. I've, I've been there helping with the application process. And it's it's kind of staggering that, that it hasn't taken off. But I think they have to wait for the tide to turn for more information to get out there that this is possible and, and you know, get the awareness so that people make these choices. You know, this is a completely viable and better option. Well, let's let's talk about the taro for a minute. Suppose I've been feeding my taro this tincture, mm -hmm. this um, what do you call it, a re regenerative product. Mm -hmm. um, now the taro is growing; it's mm -hmm. in great shape. Mm -hmm. It's harvested. Mm -hmm. I put it on my table. I make poi out of it, for example. Okay, yes. and now I eat the taro. Mm -hmm. Do I have the benefit of the regenerative compounds? Yes, um, I do. Yes, I, I'll give you an example. Um, we have beets that grow at that farm, and those beets are pulling in all the micronutrients. So if you bought beets in the store, you would get excellent beets. If you bought organic beets, you'd get slightly better beets. Mm -hmm. But these beets have gold in them, and in, in the leaves, they have gold. They have micronutrients that generally aren't found because we're empowering those plants to be like the best that they can be. And 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 all of the microorganisms are involved and everybody's working together to create this incredible plant. So with the taro, the same thing, you would get the most nutritious taro possible. And that would, if you fermented it, if you made poi and you ate it fresh while it was after fermentation, you would get the maximum benefit. So maybe I don't even have to take the four or five drops. I could just load up my, my kitchen table with um, taro that has had the benefit of this regenerative uh, product and and uh, then i could have it then the taro could have it and i could have it both we could share it in a, in, a, in a way huh? you've touched on something phenomenal there jay and that may be why methuselah and enoch and all those people lived to seven or nine hundred because they were doing things a different way and they were working with the environment and they were living on a different planet I didn't tell you my middle initial was M, and some people feel that that stands for Methuselah. Only kidding. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, okay, so uh, how do you make this stuff? And now at the risk of giving away trade secrets and maybe something that's patented, how do you make it? What What is the raw material? What is the process? And mm -hmm. is it patented? Uh, it is definitely trade secret um, because we're working with nature, and I don't believe it can be patented. But it is a 45-day process that combines all the plants into basically a new thing. It's a synergistic process. So all of the plants that are involved are now working not just like if you added it. It's more exponentially powerful. And like I said, you, you do got... this yourself? No. Or do you no, have a I'm... laboratory do it somewhere? Yes, yes. Yeah, here in Hawaii, yes. The laboratory and... is here? Yes. And they work and yeah, they, they create this process. I don't want to get into too much detail on how it's done, but I can tell you that it takes time and we're sourcing the highest quality ingredients, organic and wild harvested ingredients. It's all plant-based ingredients. So if you are vegetarian or vegan, it's it's it, it works for everybody regardless of what your diet is. So one last point, I want to, um, you know, return to the, um, the name, immortalité is, is a French word. Mm -hmm. And in fact, the uh, as I recall, the website is uses that name, Immortalité, with an accent aigu over the last E there. That's impressive. Yes. Um, yes. you got to have a special typewriter on your computer to <laughs> achieve the accent aigu. Anyway, um, so what's the connection? Is, is there, are there other people in France uh, or other places in the world? Who, is this a franchise? What is this? 
Uh, we wanted to be, become a global, a global, a global brand. I mean, we started here in Hawaii. Um, so it didn't uh, come I, from France. We were looking at the best way to brand this product and the French, you know, because part of this is going to be a beauty product. You have, you know, Dior, you have all these high end brands that are all French if you go to Ala Moana. But the very day we launched, we saw this incredible picture in our Facebook feed of Princess Kaulani from like way back. And she was on this voyage going to Europe and the boat that she was on was the Immortalité and it was across her across her you can see the hat it's in the it's in the historical archives and we, that was like a sign. yes it was like a sign it was like we are on the right path it was amazing so that we knew that that was the name to go with ah okay so you're saying this originated here and yes. to the extent that there were you know there are french names and people involved i i assume in paris am i right mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, then, then it's it's really derived off what you have found, investigated, and and yes. uh, arranged for, and which you sell on your website. What is the name of your website? Is immortality.com? Yes. Yes. It's it's not a, little, this is not thing. a nonprofit. This is an ordinary profit corporation. This is a for-profit business here in Hawaii. Yes. Yep. Okay. Is is it licensed as a medical organization or just a sales organization? It's just a sales. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, where can I read more? Maybe it's on your website. Where can I read more yeah. about the process, the origin, um, you know, how this works, how it works uh, in terms of longevity, how it works in terms of a beauty product, uh, how it works here, there, and, and on, on, um, on crops also. Um, well, the, uh, the process for the crops, we're still looking for funding for that. Uh, the beauty products, we're also still awaiting funding. So we started with the longevity and that is taking off and we just got the world record. So as word spreads, more and more people will get on board. The biggest hurdle is people don't even know this is possible. Like ha people have so many questions. So if you go to our YouTube, which is YouTube slash at Immortalite, you can watch videos. We post videos every single day of our journey, the 40, 40 days we spent breaking this world record. We're also on Twitter. We're also on Facebook. Um, at the very, very bottom of our website, you can see the links for Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. We're also on TikTok. Um, I don't dance, but we're on TikTok. And uh, <laughs> it's great. It's great. This, the news is getting out. Um, as far as the regenerative farmers, um, we may be supporting them until they can actually get this regenerative product out there. It's ready to go. So, so is the beauty product ready to go. And our clinic will hopefully be opening here on the island within the next couple months. Where will that we get be? The funding. Where will that uh, be? We're not sure. We want it in um, some place that is easily accessible, so people can fly in from around the world. And um, yeah, we will be the first center, and then hopefully it'll spread globally. One other thing, Corey, what, what is your background on this? Uh, what, what is your training, you know, um, in terms of the physical sciences involved, the biochemistry involved? What's your business background? Can you talk about it? Sure. Um, it's unexpected. I, I have a bachelor in science, but I'm actually a filmmaker. I was born on Kauai, Kamaana Kauai, and I started at Square USA. We were doing Final Fantasy in 2000. I then worked mm, on I remember Matrix that films. very well. Yeah. Yeah. What was, was the incredible. name of the, the, the heroine of Final Fantasy? Aki Ross. Yeah. I remember I had such yeah. a thing for her. She was really, yeah. no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I have a big poster of her as well. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was amazing. It was an amazing adventure. From there, I went on filmmaking and worked on The Matrix, worked on Lord of the Rings, Star Wars. And when I was going out filming, I had several accidents. Um, twisted my ankle. Uh, and then I also traveled to Egypt. And I, I was learning these things in the background that I didn't really know how they all fit together. But when I was here with the farmers and I had this dislocation, all the pieces came together from the past 20 years of my life. So I am by trade a filmmaker, but I'm working with people here that know what's going on. And they were able to translate my insights into actual practical application and it very worked. very very interesting well so many so many elements coming together in what you're doing thank you very much for joining us Corey. yeah um, you're very that, welcome that's Corey thank martin you. jewel we really appreciate the discussion aloha aloha <laughs>